Hello and welcome to the Cat Collective. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, I would like to show you how I trim my Margaret Peterson tarot. Um, now, I would like to speak about the tarot uh, card deck itself first. Um, so it's not totally cheap, I think. How much was it? I think it was about 30 pounds, but I'm not sure. Um, and therefore it just came in this flimsy box and the book is poor as well. There are no pictures and um, yeah, well, it's, uh, I was a bit disappointed to be honest, but the art, okay. Margaret Peterson has spent so much time and effort to actually uh, do the cards to make the, um, to to make them that um, you can see it in the art. So I love the art in, in the cards. It's just that the cards are too big. <laughs> um, I didn't use the deck um, as much as I would love to because it's too big. If you compare it with the Monology deck, um, you know that one. It's even bigger than that, and the Monology deck is already big enough, right? Um, yeah, and I'm very close to achieve my goal of cutting those cards. Um, yeah, so I've decided to trim them. And since um, the book didn't come with images, um, because um, like I I can't couldn't uh, cut the names um, of of the cards, and I think um, that's the end result. And I very much like it um, the way it is right now. Um, so. Um, I've decided to cut them just like that, you know. Um, it was a bit of a struggle first because I tried it um, to do it with um, scissors and a cutting board and uh, not scissors, um, a knife and a cutting board and a ruler. But uh, this was a catastrophe um, because um, the ruler always slipped. And therefore, I went to the classic classical method, um, as you can see, a classical Scissor <laughs> does the job as well. <laughs> and um, for the edges, I use um, this edge cutter. It comes, uh, you can cut in three edges. I use the size M. You just put in the card like that and then you you do it and that's that. Yeah, and I'm not all through as you uh, can tell, but I'm already so happy with the first results of the first cards. It's so much better because the border is just too much. And even the back has a border. Who does that to a deck? Like, who? Right? Um, and now here, um, I do still have this uh, border there. And I will not cut it off. But I don't mind because I don't um, read reversals anyways. Because for me, tarot is reading the art and not um, the traditional meanings. Um, it's also in this deck highly recommended I think uh, think to go with your intuition because um, well with every deck you know whenever the art changes um, yes Rider weight it's a classical one but um, when you look at different arts um, you just get a different vibe out of this and I think it really much trains your intuition a lot so um, yeah I'm gonna cut, cut uh, one card on camera <laughs> <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> um it's always a little bit uh let's say uh my heartbeat is slightly increasing whenever i'm doing this and now uh my uh phone also rang so that was nice um but we will get there it's not perfect but you know, I think about uh, when you cut a deck like this, when you trim it, it's not particularly about making it perfect. It's more about personalizing it and giving it your own vibe. And since I wasn't using it um, in the size it came into my house, I think it was the right decision to do. I'm already so happy with this those few cards that I already have. It's just the work, you know, 78 cards. 
that's a lot of work. But since I made my own tarot deck already, um, this little bit of trimming is nothing <laughs> compared to laminating, uh, like, I don't know, and drawing, of course, 100 cards? I don't know how many are in my deck currently, but I, I certainly did draw on 100. I uh, removed a few from my deck. So, Okay, and that's the cutting of the edges. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. Um, I just currently have only one deck to trim, so I didn't want to buy a paper cutter. You could also go for that if you want to do this to all to your, uh, of your decks, but all the other decks I have... They are right the way the way they are. Yeah, there we go. So, the finished product. Um, yeah, just have to repeat that a few more times, right? <laughs> but I love it. Look at this. This looks so much like a Pink Floyd <laughs> album cover or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's the moon. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I really love the art. Um, I'm going to flip through it when I'm finished, um, just to show you the art, because oh, it's so lovely. Um, yeah, I might not finish it today. We will see how it goes. I don't want to rush this. This is, uh, if I fuck this up, I'm fucked, right? Uh, did I say fuck? Yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, wish me luck and see you in a second. Yep, welcome back. Um, yeah, so I've, I've done it yesterday, actually, and, uh, it was dark, um, when I finished it and I did it with, uh, this tool, right? Because, yes, a little bit bigger and yeah, it worked fine. So <laughs> I didn't make any mistakes, therefore, um, yeah, the deck is now finished. So let's flip through it. Um. As I said, I'm not going um, with the traditional meanings of any cards, but I really uh, enjoy the the card stock, how it looks like. I mean, um, the feathers are the swords, I think, and um, because this is cl clearly three of swords, so it's, um, yeah, but <laughs> a little bit spooky, right? times um, and as you can tell I think it's a very advanced deck you know but look here's a, a beak from a crow I think and this is a butterfly so you can get your meanings out of those cards it's just that it's not that easy uh, look at this creepy <laughs> figure <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I I like the challenge of this deck. This might also be why I um, I have avoided it so far a little bit because it's a little bit challenging. Um, but I think uh, she spent over twenty years um, developing it, and um, therefore you can actually tell. I think you can really see that. Um, there went a lot of effort into it. It's just so, um, especially the the minor um, arcana is just, it's different, you know. The majors are a little bit easier to read, so. Um, but you can grasp that there is a color scheme around it, so therefore you can really uh, also read the colors a little bit. How you f how they make you feel and everything. So I would love to see the the original artworks. I haven't read into it, but um, I'm sure they're pretty intense as well. But for now, we can work with those cards, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy with the deck now, so I highly recommend that you bond with your deck and that you cut it um, and transform it so that it fits your needs. It's just something different, you know. 
Um, I also looked up the price, so it was, uh, I think, uh, yeah, a little bit under under 30. Um, and I, I was questioning if this is even the original, but I, I bought it off uh, the Amazonas, you know. And um, I don't think that there is another version of it out there. So, um, not that I've um, seen it. I, I've seen that there are two prices, so you can also put something in your basket which is over 70 but um no <laughs> no <laughs> um yeah yeah but you can tell that um this is a special deck <sighs> cannot believe that i finished it in one day but um i almost um cut myself into a zone and then it was so easy um, to do it. It's not perfect, but um, it's mine, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Um, it's tempting to actually start a collection of tarot cards. Um, I've noticed that. Um, and I think um, the world needs more creators who actually make cards. So I really hope that I will one, be one day one of those creators who ha also has got a, um, you know, uh, um, an own deck, like uh, that everybody can buy something printed, not handmade. Would be nice, right? Um, it's just um, when you combine art and spirituality, you really get. Um, It goes deeper than just drawing, you know, and um, for some weird re reasons, even though my, my own deck um, is very simple, I would love to create something which has more depth and is a little bit more noisy on um, as an image, you know. Um, even uh, those images sometimes are a little bit for me to abstract. So, I, you know, it's I think for tarot deck decks it works best if you have a lot of layers and just a lot of um, busy um, artworks. But it, it all depends on personal taste because I've seen some very nice decks uh, which just had line art. So it's not... I, I mean, even my own um, deck. It's... Uh, simple, but it's good in its simplicity. Woo! <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, it's a journey. So I love that. There's the Cougar. What are you? Big cat. There's a hunter. It looks so ancient sometimes but you really have to get the feel of the cards otherwise you won't be able to read them um, or if you you know the book as flimsy as it is um, like the, what's written in there is kind of nice so every big uh, major arcana card has got uh, um, a poem which is cute and then it is a little bit, uh, it's also based on numbers and um, all the cards. So it's like the, the read is nice, but it's just, you know, look at that. It's just a booklet <laughs> printed somehow <laughs> in a dark cabin of a printing studio or something <laughs> this is just you know when you produce something like this i think um it's important to um also look at the overall quality of, of things right um because when you uh, look at um the oracle decks from hay house so where the mon monology deck is from for example or also um light seers and stuff like that those cards you know that's a different uh, quality and feel, um, even also from the printing. So the cards are very thin here. You know, it's simple cardstock, and they are. I really, um, I like the the Hay, um, Hay House cardstock um, because it's very thick and sturdy. You know, and you know, you know what you get, and also uh, the boxes and everything. It's just uh, lovely. Um, but 
as I said, the cards and the art is just amazing. I like this one because it's a little bit creepy also. And magic can be creepy as well. You know, um, if you... If you are not expecting it, for example, and something magical happens, um, then you might be creeped out. I'm looking if I see... Um, I'm gonna read the poem. Sun winds are stroking in the strings of a sitar. The song of birds, the air is vibrating, pulsating, through the mask it sounds, I am. Soul glides into body, ever new self-creation, knowing the essence of the elements, fire, earth, air and water. The lively dance of sounds, remembering oneness, audible breath, I am. I love that. Like the, like the, the interior of it, it's nice. It's just, oh, that's the magic card. Yeah. I also love the Empress. It's so feminine. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So it's very nice. And this almost looks like an astral body. A little bit see-through and everything. It's just... Oh, look at this tower card. That's the tower. I love it. <laughs> um, for some weird reasons, I think uh, she... Um, put in the, the color red also as something very like also associated with something unwanted like uh like swords you know when you have pain or something and it i guess it is because uh, you can associate it with this because of blood for example or something like that <laughs> yeah i i love the major the, the major color is really what really is uh, good about this deck for me. That's the best. I love this moon card. <laughs> uh, oh, and, and the death card is also awesome, isn't it? It's just, um, you know, it's this veil. That's the earth and that's the veil, even though I would almost look at it like this. And it's so powerful, you know. And it's the fear of it also because of this um yeah it's just good yeah the devil card is also very it lures you in right like the real devil Justice. It's quite dark for the Justice card, but <laughs> the sun and the moon are holding him <laughs> in place. I like the swirl. No, it's just good. Isn't it? Now I can use my deck. That's so perfect. And also knowing that um, I've modified it is just... Um, something else I think the full card is very interesting because there's so much turbulence and this is also kind of turbulent it's a different fool I'd almost say that it's a little bit more of an advanced fool a fool with more wisdom. And you can you can see that, that she knew the, the card meanings or that she knew Rider weight also. If you look at strength, it's this typical woman with an with a wild creature, right? I don't know, I just can look at this for a long time and I see things and the sun yeah the sun <laughs> um, there's a couple or something there yeah I like that you know when you don't see everything on the very first glimpse of it you just can guess it and then you have to look a little bit further and see more that's good 
yeah so that's that um i i hope you enjoyed my my modifications and yeah so um you might see this deck in my in some of my future readings as well it has been added to the table <laughs> yeah um additional info is in the letterbox below and see you next time bye 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 bye